Ladies and gentlemen, got some breaking news that came out just uh, this morning. Secret Service Director Cheadle has resigned. And um, this comes after a brutal, brutal, brutal beatdown of this woman yesterday at all the at the at the hearings and now they're continuing today and i think throughout the week uh maybe uh, to get to the bottom of this i hope they do but i don't think they will uh but um cheetle has uh, uh cheetle has faced calls to resign since july 13th uh but these calls grew louder yesterday during the testimony before the house uh, in which Cheadle infuriated lawmakers on both sides by sidestepping multiple questions and failing to provide sought-after details on how the agency was reckoning with his failure to secure Trump's safety. And she released in an email today, I take full responsibility for the security lapse. In light of recent events, it is with a heavy heart that I have made the decision to step down. And why is it, why is it, like, at, like it's only after they get all this backlash. It's like if a, if a, if a company, if a company makes a horrible decision like a like a Bud Light or like a Tractor Supply here recently or like a John Deere, uh, I haven't really looked on that looked into that details, but I know that the you know Tractor Supply ch uh, uh, change whatever it was, I think the DEI stuff. Um, it was only after the backlash they decided to backtrack on things, and. I would have a little bit more respect for this woman if she came out yesterday and uh, said, you know what, uh, we messed up, uh, I resign. And uh, no, but, but it's, 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 only, it's only after you, you, get, you get roasted and toasted before the whole world, uh, you're out. So I don't know. Uh, she needs to be. She needs to be arrested. She needs to be, uh, you know, criminally prosecuted. And and, and, and this is the, this is the same thing. If if this would happen to Biden, this is not a Trump Biden thing. This is not a political thing. This is this is about keeping people who are our leaders safe. And I, I would be up, you know, out here saying the same thing about Biden. If this happened to Biden, I she, I mean. If this happened to Biden, she would be arrested, uh, like a hundred percent. But because it's Trump, they're trying to do the right thing. But I, I feel like the people in Congress, they are authentic about their, 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 their uh, frustration. You have uh, President Biden here. Uh, Jill and I are grateful to the director Jim Cheadle for her decades of public service. She has selflessly dedicated and risked her life to protect our nation throughout her career in the Secret Service. Uh, we especially thank her for answering the call to lead the Secret Service during our administration and are grateful for her service to her family. As a leader, it takes honor, courage, and incredible integrity to take full responsibility for an organization tasked with one of the most challenging jobs in public service. The independent review, uh, the independent review to get, uh, get to the bottom of what happened on July uh, 13th continues, and I look forward to assessing, assessing its conclusions. We all know what happened that day can never happen again. As we move forward, I wish Kim all the best, and I plan to appoint a new director. So Biden Biden is praising this woman, even if Biden is still alive. I don't know. Who knows? But we'll, he's, he's apparently going to address the nation tomorrow night, uh, but we'll see about that. But there's going to be no calls. There's going to be no... Uh, 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 being held accountable for this woman. She's just going to be fired, and uh, that's it. I mean, <laughs> there's, uh, you know, people on Twitter are calling for her arrest and, you know, sh her to be uh, criminally prosecuted. I totally agree. I totally agree. Here is um, a congressman from here in Oklahoma uh, he was in uh, at the site yesterday. Here's a video he put out. This building uh, on top of this building. Um, there are there are 30 different buildings within 500 yards of where President Trump um, was standing. Is probably the most astounding thing I've seen from being out here. 30 different roof lines. Uh, unbelievable that, that there was not more protocol protection and that the outer perimeter decision um, was not uh, tightened down by the uh, Secret Service. 
that's wild. Here, here's another video of him on, on the on the actual roof. The assassination attempt of President Trump took place. The shooter was body was found right here behind us, and uh, as you can see, this roof is not uh, a danger in terms of the slope uh, to be on. It's one of the most gently uh, sloping roof lines you can find. And, uh, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So we know that if you can look at the view behind me, you know that this shot had to have been more so in this area because of the tree. It's just a straight shot right there. They didn't put anything in the way. And uh, throughout all this, I've been thinking about roofers. All the roofers out there. Um, what about them? Like nobody has interviewed like a like a like a person who's done roofing for thirty years. Like their back and knees are fucked, but they still they they're still able to get a, the job done, right? And it, it's 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 one of the most brutal jobs out there. So God bless all the roofers, especially in the heat heat. I I I couldn't do that job. I know somebody who does, and God bless them. But what about the roofers out there? Like what about people out there who 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 climb up on buildings and, and like install things, right? And this is not a, this is not a, so here is um, another uh, from Arizona, I believe, Eli Crane. Uh, here's the vir uh, video that went more viral yesterday. As I'm up here on the building where the uh, supposed sniper took a shot, it's not that steep at all. Just had a 70 year old man back here climb up on the, uh, on the roof easily. See that water tower behind me? Had secret support. I thought, the, uh, I thought this guy by, right here was Joe Biden. I was like, what the hell? Because he, he, <laughs> he's always wearing the blue hat, but it's, uh, I know it's not, but it kind of threw me off a little bit. <laughs> uh, on the roof, easily. See that water tower behind me? Had Secret Service or anybody had sniper teams up there. This guy wouldn't have made it um, five feet up this roof. Um, he would have been taken out. Behind me, you see the windows that uh, Secret Service was supposedly in the second floor of this building behind. It makes you wonder why. And here, here he is out. Uh, he filmed some footage out the window. Why they uh, weren't able to quickly dispatch the individual. Um, and then behind me, back over here where those red roofs are, that's where the stage was set up. That's where the president was giving his speech from. A lot of questions here in Butler, um, but we look forward to doing oversight and uh, getting to the bottom of it and making sure it never happens. I can't remember who said it yesterday, but one of the uh, persons at the hearing was uh, was saying they could have put Barney Fife up there and this would have been stopped. What what was stopping them? That we we know from these videos that the sloped roof nonsense bullshit excuse is not a good answer. It's 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 not a good excuse. So why why wasn't there at least a Barney Fife type cop up there? I mean, they could have put anybody. They could have put a like 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 a fence around the roof, or they could have put s something in the way. Um, I don't know. It it's just. It's just infuriating, but I hope that this hearing goes somewhere. I hope they treat this like a January sixth, where 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 people who 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 uh, fucked up, um, or I hope they go after uh, the people involved, like they went off the after the J sixers. That's not the best way to put it, because um, the people the, the J sixers uh, a lot of them did nothing wrong. I mean, they were arresting people with cancer, like gra old grandmas with cancer. It was bad. But, but I hope they treat this like the J6ers. I hope this woman goes to prison for a very long time. And I, I really do mean that. And I would say the same thing if this happened to Biden. And this is not a this is not a bipart. This is not a time to be political. This is a time to 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 uh, make an example out of this situation and, and make sure this never happens again. And I think I think. I think that the 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 people in Congress, that you know, I I I have a feeling that that this is going to be handled correctly, but I I've been wrong before. 
Uh, Biden is going to address the nation for the first time since having, quote unquote, COVID. Tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, I will address the nation from the Oval Office on what lies ahead and how I will finish the job. The president has been recovering from COVID since last Wednesday. The last time uh, we saw him was in Las Vegas, I believe. And there was some speculation that uh, he uh, had a medical emergency in Las Vegas and he passed away. Uh, I, I don't know about that. We'll just have to see. Um, is this going to be like a video call? Is this going to be like a FaceTime thing? I don't know. Who knows? What do you guys think? Is it, is it going to be an AI? Is it going to be a recording? Or, I mean, maybe we don't know. Maybe it may be a recording from months ago. It may be, uh, you know, the AI stuff out there is getting to be uh, pretty good. And uh, there was some videos floating around several months ago that was going viral of Biden. And, and it, turned, it, it, it turned out it was, an, it was an AI video of Biden. And uh, everybody thought it was real. And so... Um, <laughs> Be on the lookout for that. Um, I, you know, like I said in last year's podcast, I hope he's okay. I, I don't wish the guy ill. Will I, I? I hope he recovers, but I also hope he's not the next president, and that's obviously not going to happen now. But, um, but all I want for this guy is just to go home, eat some ice cream, and just you know, not not drive anymore. Like he doesn't need to be driving. Literally, he doesn't need to be driving, but also leading the nation. So. Um, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what statement they put out or what video they put out. Um, I, I, I am almost positive it's not going to be because of COVID. We're going to be, you know, we're going to take precautions and we're going to have this video call. So I, I have a feeling it's going to be like a video pre-recording thing that's going to be released on Twitter or something probably. And um, I, I don't know. But what do you guys think? Where, where is Joe? We'll find out tomorrow night. Anyway, that is the update. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to uh, subscribe for more. Also, check out the my other channel, Oki Patriot 76 Radio. I'm going to be posting some music over there today. Check out the New Music Friday uh, playlist that I put together. I put uh, that together every single Friday, and I find um, artists out there that are independent, that are doing it right, and, uh, you know, regardless of political opinion, I, I try not to, I try not to, uh, you know, cover as much politics over there. But if there's a song that is political, like uh, Brian Kelly, he uh, of, of uh, Florida Georgia Line, he is, he's putting out a song that I may post, uh, Make America Great Again. And he is going hardcore against the left on that song, apparently, I, of, of what I heard. So uh, that's kind of a passion of mine. And that's, that's what I love um, besides politics, I, I, I have a huge passion for music. And so I started that channel a couple of years ago and it has grown so, so much. And I appreciate everybody out there. And if you're an artist out there watching, go to that channel and there's a number you can submit the, submit your music and, um, and, and all that kind of stuff. But, but, but mainly I just find music and I just post it. And most of the time people are, People are appreciative of uh, free promotion, and I don't, I don't make a, I don't make a dime from 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 any of that. It's just a passion thing. So, go check that out if you're into that. And uh, thank you. Until next time, and have a great day.